Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Restaurants Reinvented. I am Jen Kern, your hostess here of the show. And so today I have with me here Laura Ray Dickey from Dickey's Barbecue. She's the president and CEO of Dickey's Barbecue. And so excited that we could get you on the show today. Well, I want to hear about you know, your plans around your 80th birthday. And, you know, I learned you're also the the original and first and longest standing running restaurant in Dallas. That is true. So our, our original location that is right there off of uh, Knox Henderson and 75 uh, has the oldest continuously operating restaurant that has never moved, shuttered, changed names, changed locations, changed ownership. So that pit has been smoking literally since 1941. What are you seeing this year? What Where do you see the consumer and the market headed this year? Normal is definitely a setting on the dryer. We're seeing some stabilizing in more traditional lunches and dinners. We're seeing stabilizing in group ordering, but also returning to individual orders in our states like uh, Texas and Florida and some other places because we're in 44 states. We're seeing dining uh, build back for dine-in, but we've maintained our digital. We've seen an uptick in frequency because, you know, barbecue is one to two times a month for most folks. Uh, two times uh, a month is an average guest for us. Our most, most loyal come to see us once a week. Traditionally, before the pandemic, we saw those numbers double which was a phenomenal shift. I mean, I've just never seen that jump before from a brand perspective. And so we are adding every four months this year, a different rotating anniversary special. So we are just um, finishing out our spicy chicken and spicy brisket uh, sandwiches that have a new spicy sauce on them and a, a great partnership with Tillamook cheese. So we added cheese onto those wonderful sandwiches. And then uh, well, our next, uh, promotion is this wonderful uh, pulled pork sandwich that features this Dr. Pepper sauce. It'll be a limited time sauce that we'll do. And it's pretty great. And it's on a King's Hawaiian bun. And they have both been uh, phenomenal partners. What's it been like for you um, as, a, as a female leader in, in the restaurant space? I was getting a, a Lifetime Achievement Award, which should tell you about the gap uh, needed in women in technology um, because there's just a lot of opportunity for us in that space. My husband had the job that I have before me and he was phenomenal. And, and sometimes I worry a little bit that he didn't uh, get all of the credit that he deserved because he really did a good job and has evolved into a different CEO role, our related companies. And, and he is really fantastic at what he does, but we do our job differently. I mean, the way that I have approached this role and the things that I have done with the brand and the priorities that I have set are different than what Rollins were. But our strengths are very different. Our approaches are very different. And it's so important to support and celebrate women. And it has nothing to do uh, with not participating um, you know, on an even playing field or not recognizing the wonderful achievements of men in the industry. But anything you can do to encourage or be positive or make a difference or connect with somebody, or, you know, maybe there's a younger woman that is deciding, you know, where her career goes or, you know, what she's thinking about studying or where she's thinking about interning or, you know, where she might see her career going someday. Fake it till you make it and learn from it. 